Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you how you can get paid by Costco. Yes, that is correct. What you see here is a check that I received from Costco for just over $108. This is not the first check I received from Costco and this certainly will not be the last. In this video, I am going to be showing you how I use Costco's City Reward Visa card to get that check. I'm gonna be going over the main benefits, what sets this card apart from others, but also why you may reconsider this card entirely. Full disclosure, I am a massive fan of Costco. I think I go at least once a week, and if I can get something at Costco, I will choose Costco over every other place. And the simple reason why is because of their amazing return policy. If something that you buy there breaks a year later, you can actually still return the item. Whether it's food that you purchased that you don't really enjoy, or a table that you bought two years ago that broke, Costco will most likely accept that return. When it comes to things like appliances, computers, and larger electronics, you actually have about 90 days to return those items. So let's get into it. Let's get into the breakdown of what exactly you can earn when you shop with the City Visa Rewards card. So let's start out the benefits. When I walk into a Costco, I don't need to have my Visa and a membership card. I can simply just take this in. This has my photo on the back of it, and this doubles as both the credit card as well as my membership to enter the store. This covers things like extended warranty, travel accident, car rentals, emergency travel assistance, damage, and theft. There's no foreign transaction fees, and there's also no annual fee for this card. The only thing with this card is that you must have a Costco membership to be eligible to then have a City Rewards card. When it comes to the interest rate on the City card, it's a lot less than other credit cards. A lot of other credit cards range from 20 to 25%, and the average interest rate on this particular card is about between 14 and 16%. So now when it comes to the downsides, there is no sign up bonus like you see with a lot of Chase credit cards. There's nothing like if you know you spend 5,000 within the first 90 days, you receive uh, you know 50,000 free points. That is not the case here. I go to Costco once a week and I have never seen them run any promotions when it, com when it comes to sign up bonuses with the city card. The only thing I've seen them give away is like insulated reusable grocery bags. And I'm gonna be honest, I can't say those get me all that excited to sign up for a credit card. So like I said, when it comes to the downsides, there's not a ton, but there is no sign up bonus. And when we start getting into the nitty gritty of this card, the major asset is gas. You get 4% back on all your gas purchases. But the limiting factor there is that it's up to $7,000 annually. So for the first $7,000 that you spend on gas, you'll earn up to 4%, but then it goes back down to either just a Costco purchase or a regular purchase. So let's get into it. What exactly can you earn with the City card? So you can see here, the big factor is this 4% cash back on eligible gas worldwide, including gas at Costco for the first $7,000 per year and then 1% thereafter. I would say the average person is probably not gonna spend $7,000 a year on gas. It obviously depends on where you're at in the country. For example, here in Puerto Rico, we're currently paying 54 cents a liter versus I know stateside and especially California, uh, gas is in the $3 range. So when it comes to restaurants and travel with the city card, you're gonna be getting 3% cash back. This also includes Costco travel. Then, if whether you're shopping on Costco or Costco.com, you're also gonna be getting a 2% back there. And on all other purchases, uh, you're gonna be getting 1% back. So what I like about the whole Costco city card and the reward system is that it's quite simple. I don't have to log in, for example, with my Chase cards, I always log in and I look at the flight prices and then I compare them to if I was just to pay with the regular value. And sometimes on the Chase platforms, they could be double or triple the price. So I'm not always super eager to spend my points on travel. It very much so depends on the day, the airline, and the route that I'm taking. 
So I would say one time out of every four times I travel, I'm actually gonna use my points. But what's really awesome about the Costco certificate is that this is either gonna come to you uh, via mail or it's going to go to your email. And what's gonna happen is, for example, mine's for $108.97. So what's gonna happen here is I am gonna go to Costco. Let's say, for example, my total was only $50. I simply give them the certificate. I'm not going to pay for the $50 in groceries or other items that I purchase, and they're gonna give me the remainder of this actually in cash. That's right, cold hard cash if you do not use the entire amount of the certificate. So when I had my food truck business, having this card was essential. I made sure that my employees always had this card and were always swiping it anytime they were pumping gas. And that's mainly because during the business, we traveled a lot. We, up and, we traveled up and down California going to fairs and festivals, and we used a lot of gas. And during that time, gas was pushing $4 a gallon. Of course, I'm talking about California. And even then, we didn't quite push the $7,000 a year limit. And so if you're an average person, unless you're commuting, you probably won't be spending that much. I had a seasonal business where we mostly traveled, and even then I would get really close to the 7,000 uh, limit a year, but I wouldn't actually hit it. So you can see here my breakdown of what I've earned so far with my city rewards card. I've earned just over $111, and it, go, it goes ahead and gives you the breakdown here. You can see here in 2018, I earned $217. And in the year 2019, I earned $273. You can see here that in 2019, they sent me my value, it was actually 289 at this point. And so they sent this to me via email. So what happened is I would just take a screenshot of this email. And when I went into the store, they just basically scanned the screen of my phone. I have been a Costco member since 2014. I am absolutely obsessed with the place and I love to do the majority of my shopping there for a few reasons. I know that one, Costco is very particular about the approximately 5,000 items they bring into their store. They pick them very carefully. And so I know that I'm almost always buying quality and getting the best price. Two, the customer service is phenomenal and three, in a place here like Puerto Rico, it actually makes the most sense to do all of my food shopping at Costco. It is by far the absolute cheapest, and especially when it comes to produce. So if you live near Costco, whether you're a single person like me or have an entire family, I believe the Costco City Rewards card is an absolute must. Even though that Costco doesn't provide samples for the food, their food anymore, it's still a total yes. So the next time I go to Costco, I will gladly and happily use my certificate here for $108, and I'll be looking forward to my next one. So that's all I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a portfolio that you love.